up into that uh, region there and heading up toward the northwest part of Champaign County. Uh, Idle Road, let's see, there's Nine Mile Road. These are all areas where you should be taking shelter from the storm. Again, this would be a very small circulation, but it's hard to actually define it on the radar mm -hmm. and say, here's where it is. Uh, but damaging winds are definitely going to be a possibility as this continues to move northeastward. And a lot of rain. I mean, we go from a moderate drought. Uh, now, not all the Miami Valley, but I know at least uh, uh, what Montgomery, I think Green, Warren, Clinton. Southern were under Miami. Yeah, yeah, we're under a moderate drought. And then we get this very heavy rain, and we haven't had much action at all, even severe weather for that matter, uh, for quite some time. And then we get some heavy rain, and then we get uh, what could turn out to maybe be a possible tornado or two uh, as we continue to follow it. But right now, based on the velocity, velocity data that we had, uh, the Tip City area is probably where we mm -hmm. saw some of the strongest winds. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was right where you, I know you were racing in as fast as you could to get here. And that was just before you, you came in the door there that it was, uh, it was very impressive there. And uh, I used uh, the phrase, uh, possible if not probable, and then it almost looked uh, likely uh, at one point, as as good as it would ever look, really on Doppler radar. Well, you know, one, one right. of the just side by side uh, winds away and toward the radar, which would only indicate, you know, some pretty rapid rotation. And you saw the uh, gate to gate shear, meaning away and toward from the radar. What it was 101 mile per hour. So yeah, that would over be 100 miles per hour. 50, on the shear. 50. Uh, the good news is I think that was out more in a rural area southwest of Tip City, but of course that circulation did move up uh, over Tip City. So uh, Right up over the northern. I would think, uh, I, let's see, uh, I don't know, can we get hold of the newsroom and see if we're getting any reports of any damage down there? That would be a good thing. Yeah, we could call uh, perhaps uh, the, what, the Miami County Sheriff's Department or Tip City Police Department right. and, uh, and see if they're getting any uh, uh, folks calling in saying, hey, we've got damage, you know, in, of certain location. Again, nothing from the National Weather Service, but that's not surprising, Brian, as you know from, you've done this, what, uh, 40 years or so. Uh, it takes a little while. I mean, it, there's a lag time between when we see something and then you start getting the reports. They, they generally start to flow in, you know, a half hour, an hour later, or something like that. Right, absolutely. So, uh, let's see, I'm trying to get some of the velocity data. Let and me I'm, get the warning outline out of the way. Obviously, it's a uh, taken priority. I'm just hearing from the uh, newsroom that they do not have reports of damage yet. Again, no reports of yeah, damage. Not surprising, uh, but but they may come. We'll see. All right, let's check out some of the velocity data. Well, there's 40 miles an hour around uh, Westville is what we're getting. Um, so that'll blow a trash can across the lawn, you know. I mean, right, it, it, but the other thing we have to remember, we, we can only see uh, movement toward or away from the radar site. Mm -hmm. So in this situation, uh, we may not be catching the full uh, velocity mm -hmm. here. We may only be catching a vector component of it. So, uh, you know, that we could still be looking at some 50, 60 mile an hour winds moving up toward Eris along 560 up in Champaign County. Uh, so, uh, again, you need to be taking shelter this area under the tornado warning. Again, let me show you where that area is. They did shrink the uh, polygon just a few minutes ago and it's uh, kind of confining it now to the northwest part of Champaign County. It looks like mostly to the northwest of Urbana. And the newsroom is telling me now that there are reports that there, there's quite a bit of power out. Uh, Vandalia uh, street lights are out uh, so quite dark in that area they're advising uh, motorists to be extra uh, cautious if driving in uh, you know extreme northern uh, Montgomery County, southern Miami County but to power out across the area, uh, up in that same area, and, uh, and street lights out. Okay. So that's kind of our first report that there may be some problems and, But that, that was around the Vandalia area. Yes, but that also uh, was very near where that tornado was. I mean, that was under yeah, the tornado Yeah, and there were some strong area. winds, it looks like, went through there, too. Uh, it looks like through the Vandalia area. So uh, near the tornado, well, that might have been some uh, strong winds from the outflow or the wraparound uh, uh, coming out of the uh, storm itself with the gust front. So, yeah, if the newsroom could just give us an idea of uh, the, the the kind of power outages that we're looking at, uh, that would be helpful. Uh, just when you're able to do that, just to, we could pass that along to the viewers. Okay, so we continue to monitor uh, the situation here. Uh, we're watching some of the heaviest rain. You can see, as Steve mentioned earlier, a lot of this is rain wrapped. 
Uh, you're not going to be able to see it coming or going. Uh, it's a kind of a dangerous situation for the spotters, too, if they're mm -hmm. out there. Uh, so you, you, you don't like to be in that kind of a scenario. But uh, right now, strongest winds with the heaviest rain uh, moving to the north towards State Route 29 around uh, Aris, Millerstown, Crayon. They've canceled the warning for Champaign. Uh, right. They have canceled the warning for Champaign County, as Steve just said there. That's so uh, that's it. So that's about, uh, it was in effect until 8.15, so the time now is 7.53. So they canceled that about uh, 20, mm. 25 minutes or so early, which is good news, meaning the circulation is just pretty much right. non-existent. Yeah, that, uh, there's, there's a broad circulation right. there, but it, it, it doesn't look tornadic at this point. So I'm sure that's why they have canceled it. That doesn't mean it can't be reissued. So if I were up in Champaign County, northern Champaign County, around 68, uh, running up toward West Liberty, 245, State Route 508, uh, heading up there toward uh, DeGraff and Bell Fountain, up toward uh, Doak Lake, if uh, up there in the southwest corner of uh, Logan County, if you're heading up, uh, uh, if you live in those areas, definitely uh, keep track of these storms as they continue to move northeast. But at least right now, it looks like the tornado worn storms have come to an end. Yeah, no uh, warnings at all or watches in effect. And the newsroom is telling me that uh, 4,000 customers of AES, uh, I would assume that's probably in uh, northern Montgomery and in parts of Mi southern, Miami, southern County. Miami County. But 4,000 uh, either homes, businesses, combination thereof without power at the moment uh, for, from strong winds at the very least and uh, what may turn out to be a uh, possible tornado but certainly look great uh, on the radar we'll just have to see if we get any kind of confirmation from that area especially right around uh, tip city you said just kind of uh, west uh, of tip city was where the west uh, and southwest yeah. of tip city is where some of the best velocity data was but it did move up over i-75 so mm -hmm. we'll see if we get any additional reports uh, from southern miami county but right now Heavy rain, strong winds are moving up into southern Logan County and the northern portions of Champaign County. Realize that this storm was a tornado warned storm. Uh, uh, good point here. We were talking about how we were real close to the terminal Doppler radar and we were getting great velocity data. Well, now guess what's happening? The storm's moving away from that. We're moving up into an area where the radar data is going to be several thousand feet off the surface, so it's going to be harder to pick up a low-level circulation. So if we do see an up uh, circulation off the surface, doesn't necessarily mean, mean that we have a tornado on right. the ground, or there could be a tornado on the ground, and we're not picking up the strongest velocity data. So that is something we'll have to monitor for about the next half hour. So based on your experience, Brian, what you saw, and we were looking at the National Weather Service radar out of Wilmington there in Clinton County, what you saw, uh, that signature uh, west and southwest of Tip City, as we saw it there. You know, how far, you know, I mean, are, are we looking in terms of distance there? Uh, what do you think seeing that signature and, and the, the, the distance it is from the radar, how, uh, how did that look to you? Well, um, of course, I worked the night of the Memorial Day tornadoes 2019. That's when I saw some of the highest uh, shear values mm -hmm. we ever had, well up into the 100s. Uh, so I, I haven't seen too many times where we've picked up over 100 miles per hour on the gate-to-gate -gate shear. Uh, so uh, that was a situation tonight. We did have that. Mm -hmm. So there very well could have been a uh, tornado uh, southwest of Tip City. And so we are looking, I believe we're looking at, uh, so are we on the Wilmington radar there? Uh, yeah, we would be, or, or not, or is, are we still out of the terminal? Uh, well, we can, we can go in, let's yeah. hear it. Let's, uh, let's go to let's the Wilmington Velocity, just to kind of show, now that we're not under a warning before we Wh go back. Which one would you like to look at, just Wilmington? Or? Yeah, I, yeah, just Wilmington would be great. Okay, uh, here's the Wilmington radar. And maybe the Velocity uh, product, if we can do okay. that. Okay, well, let's, let's go to uh, the Velocity uh, data. Um, hold on just a second. Yeah, uh, the next one over. Oh, That's I'm Dayton. Yep. I grabbed the wrong one. There right we go. There, and then we'll back it up. Let's see, we're at 30 minutes, so we're probably going to have to go uh, change that to an hour there to get back to the full extent. So, again, this was about what, quarter after seven? About 7 15, 7 10, 7 15 is what we were looking at in terms of time uh, when it crossed the area. We were looking at the. Actually, National it looks like, there you go, look yeah. west of Union. Mm -hmm. 
uh, north we back it up even more than that because we did have damage around Miamisburg, right? It was tree oh. branches down, but I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, we can go back to a two-hour time lapse. And uh, uh, of course, we're not seeing anything well, at we just that have point. To, we have to. Let's go oh, to our time scale. Yes. We'll try to let's see 6:50. Yeah. Trying to come there. It looks like maybe John. something northwest of Eaton at that time. Well, they're they're northwest of Brookville. Mm -hmm. uh, we were. That's about the time they issued. There you go. Warning, right okay. there, crossing yeah. uh, State Route 49. Uh, let's go back. There you go. Right there. Steve, if you want to go to the wall, you can kind of point that yeah, out. Yeah, so folks, because they, they probably don't know exactly what we're. Yeah, I'll do that. We're looking you. at, but there uh, we want to. We want. There you go. Let's yeah. zoom in and. So no warnings in effect right now, but this is right about the area when we had this the. This is right around seven o'clock when the warning came out. I think. Yeah, there you can see it. It's six fifty nine, right there. Uh, the timestamp. Uh, what we're looking at right now, and we're looking again at the Doppler radar out of Wilmington. So, uh, so the, the radar is down in this area. So we're looking at winds going. Uh, away from the radar in red, as we'll see here in, in a moment, uh, if we can just back it up to that time about uh, 710. So we're seeing uh, winds, uh, let's get, okay, so yeah, right in this general area, we're seeing winds going away and toward the radar. It's, you kind of get a little turned around here there. But at one point, Brian, it was a, a very, very good couplet there, right yeah. here. Yeah, this is it here. So and there again, it is, right around Old Springfield yeah. Road. So this would have been uh, right along the Miami and Montgomery County border. Okay. So yeah, just and then to that, point that that out. that uh, again, some of the strongest velocity data then really starts right showing there. up north around around Ginghamsburg and just northwest of there, uh, southwest of Tip City in the rural area. A pretty good uh, velocity couplet right there going into Tip City itself, right over Hyatt the Street. northern northern portion of Tip City. So right. again, this is coming toward the radar. That's that's. Are you able to uh, look at the wind speed just uh, on that? Actual Would you, pixel is, or uh, not? Sure, we can. What you you want to look at uh, some of the velocity? Yeah, we just have. the velocity. There, there you so go. There's your gate to gate shear and 57 miles yeah, an hour. The 57 on the wind. at the time, uh, which is very near a severe thunderstorm uh, warning limit. You know, the threshold I think was what 58 miles per hour uh -huh. or 60 miles per hour. So we're we're very near that so at the very yeah, least. 50, yeah, yeah 50 58. Knots, 58 miles mm -hmm. per hour exactly. So all right. So uh, at this time, we do not have any new warnings. Steve, I think we're going to wrap it up. We're going to go yeah. back to regular programming now. We'll kind of keep a check out and see if we get any more reports of any damage up in southern Miami County and uh, northwestern Miami County. Wait, just one moment. Uh, newsroom, but one more time. You, you okay. want to, uh, there was a request. We have a picture, and uh, uh, this is from Dayton International Airport, Brian. Oh, this is from Dayton. Okay, D-A-Y. Yeah. We're trying to. Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it is. We're going to actually just take a really close look and see if we can. Uh, uh, it does look perhaps like a, at least a funnel there, Brian. Uh, yeah, and there might be a circulation all the way to the ground. Too. I don't know what that building is there, if that's one of the terminal I, buildings or what. Well, there's the water tower, so um, it's maybe too, we're looking north. Is that a view to the north? Okay. It's hard to say. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go back to this in just a moment. We do want to show you the power outages. We have a map now showing that again uh, in this same area, Brian. You can see that uh, south of Troy. Of course, most of these outages, 4,000 homes and businesses without power in the general area, the same general area that was under the tornado warning. So is that Tip City and where we have numerous outages? If we if we zoom I, in on it, that a little bit, it is. It's just kind of like south of Tip City. Uh, yeah. I, so that's where yeah. we had some of the strongest velocity mm -hmm. data. So it's not surprising there. Uh, lots of, uh, of course, it's uh, what we still got an hour or so of uh, daylight. The sun doesn't set until after nine o'clock, but it's very dark up around Vandalia. I'm told. Uh, because the uh, street lights are out, right? Yeah, I mean, right. It, it's just very dark in that area. We have cloudy yeah. skies, rain falling. We still have clouds yeah. and rain, just light to moderate rain right now around Vandalia. Mm -hmm. So before we go back to programming, let's just take a look at that picture one more time. Um, this is again, Brian, from the Dayton International Dayton Airport. Dayton International Airport. We're not sure if we're looking north, northeast. But we see the water tower, but I want to point your attention if you can just, uh, in fact, if I'm able to go back to the wall. Maybe that's west. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I just, I don't have any reference. I'm going to come back to the, the wall here just to show. So if we can make the uh, weather wall active, I'll uh, point with my finger if it's hard for folks to see at home. Uh, let's go back to that picture and then, uh, and then make the uh, weather wall active. 
Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and take a look at that uh, picture again. So this is what we're looking at here. Um, uh, I'm still not in the picture there. Uh, I was trying to point uh, to the actual funnel cloud uh, or possible tornado, and I'm still not able to do that. Uh, but it's just to the left of that building, as you see. So we're this is, uh, I, I guess, a time lapse. I mean, w I don't know if this is actual video or if this I I it's just a picture. But uh, clearly, you can see it moving in time, getting closer and closer to that building. Uh, a the funnel cloud. Uh, one more time, newsroom. Okay, so Brian, I think uh, with that, uh, there's no warnings, right? So time to wrap up. Uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, if we get some reports of damage, if we get some video, we will probably break in and let you know about it. If not, you'll have all the coverage tonight. At 10 o'clock uh, on Dayton CW and then on WDTN uh, back at 11 o'clock. All right, sounds good. All right, keep it tuned right here to WDTN. Steve will have the latest forecast coming up for you tonight. This has been a Storm Team 2 weather alert.